One of the big things that uh, we continue to be concerned about, I don't, I'm not concerned about it, but everybody else is, or at least the markets are reacting to it in a powerful way. That would be the Fed decisions and what the Fed might do. We are continuing to hear more and more uh, talk coming out of the Fed in reference to uh, inflation. Uh, There's got to be some concern in and around inflation. The Fed understands that they do need inflation. Obviously, uh, if they don't have inflation, they're in big trouble because the debt of the United States is not going down. As a matter of fact, the spending within the government is not going down. So a couple things have to happen. Either we've got to dramatically cut spending in the government, not going to happen, or we've got to raise GDP. Now, one of the spending problems that we have here with the government is the fact that not only we continue to spend, but one of the things that is, or some of the things that aren't even factored in uh, to the government's budget. First of all, we've got off balance sheet stuff like emergency kinds of things, even some uh, war kinds of things that are off balance sheet. Not then. We've got issues that um, higher interest rates aren't factored in. So if we get a higher interest rate, it's going to cost us a lot more to service our debt. And at a 3% interest rate, 3.5%, it could be near a trillion dollars a year just to service our debt. That's not factored in. The other thing that's not factored in is the continuing organizing of new departments of the government. And this is particularly true around Obamacare. So we're not going to see a reduction in government spending. We are likely to see an increase in tax and in taxable situations, uh, but we're not going to see any kind of decreases.